We're following a developing story out of Memphis, Tennessee. Five police officers have been fired for their involvement in a traffic stop that led to the death of Tyree Nichols. Authorities say they stopped the 29-year-old for reckless driving on January 7th, and two confrontations followed. He was taken to the hospital and died three days later. So while it's no surprise that white police officers in America harass and even murder black suspects, it might be surprising for you to see that black police officers do the same thing. And I can speak from experience. Back in New Orleans, I've been stopped countless times. I've had the handcuffs slapped on me for no reason at all by black policemen. In fact, a black policeman even stopped me while I was putting the keys into my car door, about to enter my own car in front of my own apartment. And a warning to our viewers that some of these images might be disturbing to watch. His family saying police beat him so severely he was unrecognizable. Ben Crump, the family's attorney, speaking with GMA overnight. They took photographs of him in the hospital that showed him with huge contusions and abrasions on his face and head that they believe was part of the reason why Tyree is dead today. The body camera and surveillance videos are expected to be shown to Nichols' family Monday morning. The only thing we've heard are the rumors that it's horrific and it's akin to the Rodney King video. You'd think that after all the news stories about police brutality, especially after the uprisings in 2020, that police officers around the country would learn a lesson. But no, it's not about that. You see, I believe that police officers around the country are trained from the very beginning to go after black people, especially black males. It's all a scheme and it's all by design. And I believe the media is even in on it. The mainstream media loves to portray black men in a poor light. The Memphis Police Department now firing five officers following its investigation into that confrontation with Tyree Nichols. This just days before the Nichols family and their attorney are expected to see the body camera video. The media is the mouthpiece of white supremacy and the police officers are the enforcement arm of white supremacy. Now, if you think that there's no such thing as white supremacy, you can click off this video right now uh, because you've either been living under a rock or you are living in serious denial. For those of you who are awake and know what I'm talking about and you know that white supremacy indeed exists in America and it has never gone away and you realize that Black officers are just as terrible as white police officers. They all fall under that same thin blue line, and they are all thugs in blue. They are no different than any well-armed gang. The FBI and the Justice Department are also conducting a civil rights investigation. Now, the video of that incident is expected to be released to the public after the Nichols family takes a look at it next week.